Racist of Games here, and today we are going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, this is a very scary game, and if you guys didn't see the warning at the beginning, this game contains uh, flashing lights, loud noises, and lots of jump scares. So, if you are easily frightened, don't watch this. If I mean, the flashing lights aren't too bad, but I assume that that's implying an epilepsy warning. Although it's not that bad, I don't know if it's seizure inducing, but just just be aware of that. And loud noises. Rest in peace, headphone users. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna turn down my volume actually a little bit. So we can either do a new game or continue on night four. Because I've actually uh, played this in the past and I got up to night four. But um yeah, we're gonna be doing a new game for the purpose of this let's play. So if you guys end up wanting to see more of this, let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoy watching me get scared. And please do subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see when the next one comes out. If it does come out, if you guys make me do this again. Alright, so we're going to press new game. Ray Fazbear's Pizza. Family Pizzeria looking for the security guard and work the night shift. 12 to 6 a.m. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so guys. I actually do know a lot about this game, so I won't be too scared by anything, because I have played it in the past. This is like, the first one's actually not that scary, especially once you get used to it, so I probably won't squeal too bad if I die. I don't know, but I mean, chances are I won't. First night's usually really easy. Oh gosh, I'm nervous already. Oh, here comes phone guy. Double check that all of this works. Alright, everyone's here. Hello? Hello? <laughs> uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming. But I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. It's going to be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached. All right, carpets okay. have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at yeah. night, but do I blame them? No. no. If I were forced to say... Those same stupid, stupid songs, songs for 20 years, and I never got a bath, yeah. I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. Yeah. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's So just sense. be aware, the characters do tend to wander in. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, they're left in some kind Whoa. of free-roaming mode at night. Oh, uh, gosh. Something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for All right, too good. long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. The bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your There's safety, the, the only stuff. visual that me a for little. you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, hmm. Now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, animatronic devices. That sounds awesome. Especially awful. around the facial area. So you can imagine while having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the oh, only no. parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth when they pop out the front of the mask here. Oh, right. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first they should be 
Alright, someone's moving. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely I'm calling it necessary. Bonnie. Bonnie move. Got that's that's power. my guess. Alright, good night. Alright, come on. Come on, clear up cameras. Alright, yeah, there was Bonnie. Where is he? Oh. Alright, making creepy faces at the camera already. Oh no. Oh look, there's an endoskeleton. That's creepy. All right. All right. So. Oh, he moved. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no! Look at those eyes and his teeth. Ah. Oh my gosh, that face is so creepy. Alright, everything should be fine, guys. Night one, nothing to- He moved again. Alright, he's right there. He's right there. You guys hear that? You're not my volume, actually. It's scary for me. I'm pretty sure that my volume's, like, really low right now. But I don't care. I'm scared. <laughs> this is the face of evil. All right. Yeah, that's right. Blink blinky red light over here knows what's up. He knows what I'm talking about. All right. 3 a.m. 50%. That is like exactly halfway on both of them. Yeah. All right. So. I should be worried. I should be more worried about this. No. No. Know what? Know what? Right one, chances are nothing will happen. Chances are. That that's that's just most likely. The animation on this is so good. I mean look you can see all the wires and it's just meant to creep you out. Look you can see like little chips on the side of Chica's head or something. I don't know, this is this is a whole new level of spooky. Guys, welcome to my playthrough of Spooky Bear. Spooky Bear 1, the original Spooky Bear. Today we have a... <laughs> Alright, so he just moved again. No one else has moved. At least he's not moving towards me. Like, <laughs> like, I'm fine with him moving in the opposite direction, but if he starts moving... Oh my gosh, Chica moved. Chica moved. Chica moved. It's 4 a.m. and Chica moved. Alright, so anyway, that goes. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my eye on you. I know you went this way. This is the only place you go. Probably. Come on, cameras clear up. I'm pretty nervous. in there. Alright, so Chica's still there, actually. Oh, gosh, Freddy's looking at me. Where did Bonnie go? Bonnie's in the hallway. Okay, Bonnie's in the hallway. Chica's right there. Freddy's looking at me. Alright, so this is where it starts to get pretty spooky. Today we have with us a very fun cast of characters. We have um, a spooky bear over here. Uh, Duck Duck, and uh, Judy Hops, Judy Hops Jr. Judy Hops Jr., everyone's worst nightmare. I wish I could turn my head faster like a normal person in this game. Alright, he's definitely moving closer. I hope I didn't jinx this for myself or something. Alright, Freddy's not looking at me anymore. That means he's mo- Ah! Oh! Bonnie was at the door. Judy Hops Jr. Go away. I don't have your pizza. Please don't eat me. Because I don't have your pizza. Where's Chica? Where's Chica? Alright, Chica's not there. 
that's good news, except that I don't know where Chica is. Alright, Bonnie backed off. Chica's over there, so let me just double check. And yeah, no one's over here. Chica's over here. Bonnie is somewhere. I'm really nervous. Oh my gosh, I just realized I only have 6%. It's 5 a.m. I really hope it's about to be 6 a.m. I think it's been 5 a.m. for a little bit, but I don't know exactly how long. Oh my gosh, guys, I gotta cheer myself up. Little nose. Yes! Yes, we did it, guys. Nothing to be afraid of. We made it to 6 a.m. on our first try, night one. So, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. So, guys, if you enjoyed watching me get scared out of my wits for no reason, please leave a like. I would really appreciate it. I got pretty scared today. Sort of. It wasn't that bad. Anyway, so uh, please do subscribe if you haven't already. And then you'll be able to see next Friday when I have to do this again. Uh, okay. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye!